relaxing and some sport and well-being. I'm going to be taking you through a mat work based Pilates class today and it's all going to be based around some leg exercises. So if you have a resistance band and you'd like to use it, I'm going to put it into the programme. But if you haven't got one, then please don't worry because you'll still get a workout without it. So before we start, make sure you've got a big space around you. You've got a mat to lay down on, maybe a drink. And if there is any injuries out there or anything where you just don't feel that it's right for you, leave the exercise as well alone. Um, but if there is something that you can do instead and you want to put it in, that will be fine. Okay, so just do what you can. So I'm going to put some music on, I'm going to take you through a warm up, and then we're going to get going with these resistance bands. Excellent. Now take a nice sweep to the floor. So you're taking a breath in. 
Now bend those knees, keep the head up, and just sweep to the floor. Two of them, keep those knees apart two more times. And give me one more time. And then bring those arms around and down. Lovely. Take your little band if you are using it. Please don't worry if you haven't got one and you're not using it. It's just here for extra resistance. Now I want it under the feet. So the first exercise, as I said, we're going to do legs. First exercise is a squat. So I'm going to go sideways on. So I want you to push the feet out into that band and I want those knees to stay pointing forward. Don't let them start going knock kneed, turning in. Okay? So what I want us to do is bring our hands by our ears, get those shoulders back, draw that rib cage down, and I want you to press those hips back. And then push through, standing tall. So you keep the band tension tight. Exhale, push those hips back, wait for the heels. Inhale, stand back up, posture. And again. Now we're going to start to use a little bit more of the core because what we're going to aim to do is put a knee up towards our chest when we stand up. So just give me two more. Excellent, give me one more. Now give me a squat and pull a knee up. Give me a squat, pull a knee up. Give me a squat, pull a knee up. So I want you to stay really tall when you pull that knee up. If it gets a little bit wobbly with those hands up by those ears, you can put those hands in front if you prefer. Here we go, four of them, three of them, two of them, and one more, and take a little breather. Well done, excellent. And to that I want to add on, again using the legs, we're going to lift one leg out to the side, so it's a nice side leg raise. But I want to take away the opposite arm into a diagonal. So again, tailbone drawing down, keep that nice elevated rib cage. Exhale, lift one leg. Inhale, lower. So I'm just tapping the toe. Exhale, lift one leg. Inhale, lower. Now if you're not using the band, you might be able to get that leg a little bit higher. Super, give me four more. Now you're staying lifted, we're not sinking down into this leg. We're staying lifted through this waist. Two more. And one more. Center, equal amount of pressure for the feet. Get ready, engage through the belt muscle. Exhale, lift away. Inhale, come back in. Keeping that nice tall spine. Stay really elevated through this last hip on the side. Let's lift the other leg up. 
That was better, I had a bit of balance then. You'll probably find like me, there is one side that you favour. Good, work on it. Two more. One more. Come into a side. Two to go. Shh. One more. Shh. Other side. Lengthen. Stay lifted for the core. Brace through that lower belly. Two more. One to go, and take a breath in, as you breathe out, hands come round and down, shoulders down, go one more time, Breathing in and out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and release. Take a lovely little sit back as a release before we change it to the other side. So you may need to just adjust that band slightly. So we're going to come back through, check those hands under those shoulders. Take away one leg that you haven't worked yet. Now be careful not to lean to one side. Open up those shoulder blades, keep those hips pointing down. And then when you feel ready, brace through those lovely deep abs, 
lift and squeeze the glute. You'll get front of that chin, remember? with some nice heel kicks. So brace through the abs at the front, keep the hips down. Now pick up your toes, two squeezes in, take away, push. Now we're not going to touch the floor with the feet. Imagine the floor is hot and we're not allowed to put the feet down on the floor. Breathe out as they come in, breathe in as they go down. Stay lovely and strong through the front, supporting that lower back. Instead. And we want to aim to have the heel level 
with our hip bone. Nice little circles, stay lifted out of that underneath rib cage. Two more. And then we're going to hold it lovely and still. Keep that foot relaxed. I want you to come back the other way. You ready? Here we go. Lovely and strong. Beautiful. Lift out that waist. Keep the hips still. And yours might be a bit bigger if you're not using the resistance band. Four of them. Three of them. Strong. Two. Go on, one more. And lower. Four. Now, go into a supine position. Lay onto your back. Bring those legs into you and close the spine. Stir those legs all the way around. Take a little release. Now I'm not going to go straight to the other side just yet. Slide the band if you've got the band up to mid thigh. And we're going to go into some glute squeezes where we do the bridge. Feet lovely and close to that bottom. Shoulders down into the floor, arms down. As you take a breath in here, start to think about breathing out, lifting straight up and squeezing that bottom, push out against that band, breathe in, go down, keep those feet lovely and close, exhale, lift and squeeze again, Hold there, bend and lower, 
Come back over into that supine on our back. Walk those feet in nice and close to that bottom. Shoulders into that mat, head resting, hands down. Exhale, straight up, working through the glutes. Now be careful not to use your hands. Inhale, go down. And again, keep those knees pointing up to the ceiling. Let that lovely ski slope with those legs. Two more. Hold it here, take a nice breath in, draw the rib cage towards those hips, it's nice and level. Exhale, open the knees, inhale back to centre. Take away from the midline of the body, bring back. Two. One more. Whoops. Come back down. And then from there, Slide that hand off. Well done. Bring those legs in, stir them around. So I want to stretch out through those muscles that we've been working. So it's been predominantly leg and bottom workout. Put one foot on the floor, take the other leg across and let that knee turn out. Relax the head and shoulders on the floor, put the arms down. Now close your spine, bring that leg in, hold it there. Now if you want to, put your hands through, lift your head and shoulders and hold on to the opposite shin bone. So you've got that spine closing down, the belly pulling in, the knee turned out. Go down, switch legs for me. Knee turns out, shoulders on the floor, hands on the floor first of all, close the spine, bring in the knee. Hands through if you want to, lift up, hold. Come down, bring both legs in, put the feet together. Now just turn those knees out, I just want a little stretch through the inside leg here. Keep that spine down, head up. Now come down with the head, come into a little ball and give a little rock to sit in. Well done. From here, I want you to take those legs out, open them, get your hands, lift a little bit of your bottom to one side and find a bone. That's your sitting bone. The other side, lift a little bit of bottom to one side and find the other bone. If you can't have your legs straight, have them bent. Now, we're sitting on these sitting bones. I want you to run the hand down the same leg. Keep this hip down. Let's see if you can bring this arm up. Have a little look. back to centre. Well done. Now keep those sitting bones on the floor. Bring this hand down the same leg. Keep that hip down, bring that arm over. Keep your sitting bone down on the floor. Well done. Now put your hands in the middle. You're going to lower your chest to the floor, but you're going to hinge from your hip. So if I go sideways, you're going to hinge forward here. You're not going to stick that belly out and take that pressure in that lower back. You're going to pull the belly in. You're going to hinge forward from the hip and walk out. Hold it there. Well done. Walk back in. Take those legs around the back. Go onto your hands and knees. So we're in a nice four-point kneeling. Tuck that bottom under, relax your toes, open up through upper back and shoulder. Then tuck those toes under, put your bottom on the ceiling, and then press 
those heels to the floor with bent legs or straight legs. Bend one knee, bend two knees, walk your hands closer to your feet. Bring your heels down and then give me the roll up, draw it in through the belly. Taking a nice breath in at the top. Breathing out at the bottom. I'm going to do a standing stretch for the front of the leg. Pick up one foot. Put the two knees together. Press the foot into the hand. And squeeze your bottom. Hold the wall if you need to. I go diagonal with the other leg. Pick up that foot. Bring those two knees together. Press that foot into that hand and squeeze your bottom. Hold on to a wall if you need to. And then release. Well done everybody, take a lovely breath in. As we breathe out, bring those hands together. Take your little bow. And give yourselves a clap, well done. Any questions, any comments, just drop them down in the comments. I'll get back to you. Take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye for now.